Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Amid signings, Cowboys cut Swiss Army Knife rookie before playing a game. The Dallas Cowboys have been busy making roster moves at the start of training camp, which unfortunately cost rookie linebacker Byron Vaughns a roster spot. The Cowboys announced the release of Vaughns after signing the following three players, linebacker Darius Harris, defensive tackle Albert Huggins, and linebacker Nick Vigil. After not hearing his name called in the 2024 NFL Draft, Vaughn signed with Dallas as an undrafted free agent. DallasCowboys.com's Nick Harris described Vaughn's as a Swiss Army knife thanks to his versatility on defense. Byron Vaughn's was a Swiss Army knife in his time in college as his length, 84-inch wingspan, and athleticism allowed him to play off the edge, on the ground as a defensive lineman and off the ball as a linebacker, Harris detailed in a May 10, 2024, message on X. The Fort Worth Eastern Hills grad started this morning with the linebacker group in his first practice in Dallas. Vaughns had a standout collegiate career playing both linebacker and defensive end with stops at Texas, Utah State and most recently, Baylor. The defender's best season came in 2021 when Vaughns posted 43 tackles, 10.5 tackles for loss, 6 pass deflections and 4 sacks. Vaughn's release is brutal timing as the rookie's family had just traveled to Oxnard, California to cheer on the rookie during training camp. So sad for Byron Vaughn's. His family came up from Fort Worth today, Fort Worth Star Telegram's Clarence Hill Jr. detailed on X on August 6. The NFL is a cruel game. As the signings indicate, the Cowboys are searching for answers on the defensive line. The unit is not exactly off to a hot start in training camp. The Athletics' John Machota broke down the current depth chart, noting that it would not be a surprise if a trade was coming. The Sam Williams injury obviously changes things, Machota wrote in an August 7 article titled, Cowboys 53-man roster projection, how things look entering first preseason game. That might mean a spot for Durrell Johnson, Tyrus Wheat, Shaka Tony, or al Quadin Muhammad. Dallas Cowboys, Dak Prescott urged to say no to every offer team makes. The Dallas Cowboys have always been one of the most popular teams in the NFL. However, the last 30 years have seen the franchise, dubbed America's team, fall short in the NFL playoffs time after time after time. This past season was no different, with the second-seeded Cowboys finding themselves blown out at home by the Green Bay Packers. The constant postseason's failures by Dallas over the past few seasons have led the organization to the brink of a massive turning point. Success in 2024 is mandatory, or else several key figures could find themselves on different teams next season. There have been four NFL quarterbacks who have signed massive extensions so far this offseason. The first was Detroit Lions pro bowler Jared Goff, who got a four-year extension worth $212 million. At the time of his signing, his $53 million annual salary was the second highest in the NFL. Tua Tagovailoa signed a contract extension with the Miami Dolphins after training camp began. His deal was a four-year contract worth $212.4 million, or $53.1 million a year. This made him the third-highest-paid quarterback in the NFL, behind Lawrence and Burrow. Hours later, though, the Packers announced their agreement with Jordan Love on a four-year contract worth $220 million. His $55 million annual salary joined him with the aforementioned Lawrence and Burrow as the highest-paid players in the NFL. His $75 million signing bonus was also an NFL record. There is one thing that everyone should notice about the contracts described above, other than the large amounts of money they are all four- or five-year contracts. In other words, the players have a chance to cash in on a larger payday later on when they are still young enough to do so. Because the NFL salary cap will continue to go up each year, they most certainly will. In a recent episode of the Spotrack podcast, NFL salary cap expert Mike Giannitti said of Prescott, 
what Dallas is doing, they're trying to give him a career contract and he's trying to take a three- or four-year deal. He's trying to do right by the players and take the short deal because the cap is going to be $350 by the time that contract is done and he knows it. That's what's happening. Prescott wants a shorter deal, not only for himself, but because he knows that another quarterback, whether it be in 2025, 2026, or 2027, will be able to make more than him because of the standard that he will set. Of course, he himself will have the chance to cash in on a more lucrative deal if he signs a shorter contract. However, one must remember that NFL players are not only concerned about their teammates, but for players around the league as well. Cowboys bring in Cardinals' ex-starter who was cut before season finale. The Dallas Cowboys are showing interest in a former Arizona Cardinals starter. As noted by NFL reporter Howard Bowser of Cards Wire, the Cowboys hosted defensive lineman Kevin Strong for a workout on Tuesday, August 6. Strong started 11 of his 14 appearances with the Cardinals during the 2023 season before he was abruptly cut prior to the season finale. D.L. Kevin Strong, who was waived by the Cardinals two days before the 2023 season finale because of unknown personal reasons after playing 14 games and starting 11, had a reported visit to the Cowboys Tuesday, writes Bowser. He played in college at Texas San Antonio. The 28-year-old Strong initially entered the NFL as an undrafted free agent back in 2019, signing with the Detroit Lions. The six-foot-four nose tackle made the 53-man roster out of training camp and appeared in eight games before landing on injured reserve with a season-ending injury. Strong would go on to play six games with the Lions in 2020 and one game in 2021 before being waived. He would eventually land with the Tennessee Titans, appearing in 21 total games during the 2021 and 2022 seasons. He posted 23 tackles while appearing in 29% of the defensive snaps during the 2022 season. Not surprisingly, Strong's best season was last year with the Cardinals. For the first time in his career, Strong emerged as a full-time starter, posting a career-high 46 tackles and 2.5 sacks while appearing in 51% of the defensive snaps. The Cowboys have made a flurry of roster moves in recent days, cutting undrafted rookie linebacker Byron Vaughns while signing linebackers Darius Harris and Nick Vigil along with defensive tackle Albert Huggins. It's clear Dallas is still looking for answers along the defensive line following the abrupt season-ending injury suffered by Sam Williams. As noted by the Athletics' John Machoda in his 53-man roster projection, noting that the team could pull off a trade for a defensive end or defensive tackle. The Sam Williams injury obviously changes things, Machoda wrote on Wednesday, August 7. That might mean a spot for Durrell Johnson, Tyrus Wheat, Shaka Tony or al Quadin Muhammad. It also could mean that Dallas adds a veteran defensive end after teams trim to 53. A trade for a defensive end or defensive tackle should both be on the table. This group on paper certainly isn't as strong as it was last year, and Parsons is going to play more off-the-ball linebacker. While strong specialty is at nose tackle, it could give the Cowboys much-needed experience and depth. The two current projected starters at defensive tackle are OSA Odegizawa and second-year man Motsi Smith, who played just 28% of the defensive snaps during his rookie season last year. The other backups are Chauncey Galston and Albert Huggins, both of whom have never served as starters and have just nine games of starting experience combined. In other words, Strong has more starting experience than three of the Cowboys' four top defensive tackles combined. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Kevin Strong? Leave your opinion in the comments.